people always get mad at haters you know uh no matter what type of hater it actually is people get mad at it because it could be there's the hater that is jealous of you because you're successful and then there's the hater that knows they're at a higher level than you are right now but they need you to kind of stay down there to make themselves feel better and either one of them sucks I remember when I was a little kid I mean uh, I was little you know I was you know in grade school and I was I was you know kind of a dopey looking kid with big glasses and yeah I was just thinking about what I, yeah I really really was dopey looking you know some big ass glasses I had and I was also tiny at the time and it was really bad man it was just horrible you know the girls treated me like crap you know there was always bullies trying to beat my ass and it was really really a bad 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 period in my life so one day we're in classroom and um <laughs> i can laugh at it now but uh we're in the classroom and i'm sitting in the back of the class and i'm just trying to you know i'm basically i'm just trying to keep my head down you know i just want everybody to just leave me alone because i know you know every contact with my classmates was horrible you know i had a couple of friends a couple of the other brains in class but but it was just you know <laughs> it was just it was horrible all right and uh you know the girls didn't like me back then and and uh <laughs> so we're in the classroom and i'm sitting in the back just like i said just kind of putting my head down on the desk just kind of trying to be cool and be quiet and hopefully let everybody else do what they're going to do someplace else and just leave me the hell alone and one of my biggest nightmares at the time came true the teacher leaves the classroom and she made it clear that she was going to the principal's office to do something and I knew that meant she was going to be gone for a long period of time good god no now my first thought was oh crap I'm gonna have to get into a fight with these bullies again I don't feel like getting punched I don't feel like trying to hit somebody because I'm not going to win this because they're all each one of them individually is bigger than me so I I just you know maybe I have a chance with one of them but I just don't need this shit but that didn't happen and, I, and, and the funny thing is that had happened before, so I could actually have dealt with that. I, I had some experience with that part of it. But the other thing happened. The girls, they decided they wanted to have a contest. Uh, well, not a contest. That's the, bad, that's the bad way to explain They wanted to rate the boys on hotness in the classroom on a scale of 1 to 10. Yeah, I knew this was not going to end well for me. Okay. So... <laughs> So, of course, the jocks, the pretty boys, the popular guys in classes get 10s, 9, 10, 9, 9, 10, 9, 9, 10, 9. And they start going to the regular guys in class, 7, 8s, 7s, 9s, 8s, you know, that kind of thing. And then they get to me. It's like they save the worst for last. And I put my head down and say, oh, God, here comes my number. They write the number on the board. And I didn't hear any snickering. And I'm going, okay, this is either really good or really bad. And I look up at the board, and everyone's kind of, you know, being quiet. And I walk up to the board, and I can see, as I approach the board, a seven. Now, I know I'm not a seven. I know this. You know, I know that that can't, that can't possibly be my number. These people don't like me. The girls think I'm, I'm smart. They'll ask me to help with, with the homework, but they don't find me attractive. I know there's no way in hell I'm a seven. I saw guys in the classroom who were kind of average looking. They were getting sevens, and I didn't even look as good as those dopes. So there's no way. But then I thought, wait a minute, what am I saying? I mean, maybe they're just being nice. Maybe they realize that because I'm the worst looking person here and I'm a, a big mess to these people, maybe the girls are showing some compassion here. And maybe they just give me a seven, you know, you know, just give them a seven. What difference does it make? We all know he's dopey looking. So I go up to the board and I see the seven and I'm going, finally, finally something good has happened for me and I don't have to worry about people being mean to me. And then I got closer to the board, and closer to the board, and I put my stupid sun, my, my stupid glasses on, and then I see it. To the direct left of the seven was a decimal point. Yeah, you see, they hadn't given me a seven; they had given me a point seven. How did that make me feel, you ask? Well, it made me feel like a piece of...
But when I think about it now, I think these people actually gave me one of the best gifts I have ever had. Mainly because that was probably, uh, during my childhood, the worst I could possibly feel. There's literally nothing that feels worse than having the entire classroom do that to you. Uh, but I was able to survive it. And by the end of the year, um, I started to grow a little bit. and I became a better athlete. I was already smart. And I started to feel good. I started to feel good because they tried to crush me, but they couldn't. There's, there's something about having people try to just absolutely crush you and surviving it and realizing they don't have that kind of power. It was great. I mean, like I said, from the worst feeling in the world to going, that's the best shot you actually can have. That's the best you could do to try to hurt me. It really is. But you didn't. You made me feel bad for a while. But the next day I thought, well, I'm still alive. I mean, all he did was be mean. But how long is that going to last? I'm not going to be in school with these people forever. I'm not here for them anyway. I'm here to, you know, get something for myself. Now, granted, I ain't going to lie to you. In my mind, I had some fantasies at that moment. Boy, I, I really had some fantasies in my mind of just standing in front of that class. And, boy, I just wanted to. All right. Which one of you had the bright idea to try to humiliate me, even though I didn't do anything to them? Oh, you? Could you come here for a minute? I want to show you something. Or even better, get one of those people that did it and grab them and go, Hey, come here for a minute. Yeah, could you turn around for a minute? And then grab, and then grab their pants and this pants the bastard. How do you like this? <laughs> Oh, you don't like humiliation? Really? Oh, ain't that a shame? Oh, people laugh at you. Oh, but I thought better of it. I realized it's not the way to go about things. And like I said, I'll just let it brush off of my back and I went about the rest of my day and forgot about it until now. Yeah, until now. I never did get my sweet revenge on those bastards. <laughs> now is the time. I shall have my revenge. <laughs>